Hey guys, hello and welcome to this YouTube series. In the recent past few time, we have spoken to you about blockchain, cryptocurrencies, Bitcoin and Ethereum as well. Today we bring to you the altcoins. As the name suggests, it is alternative to Bitcoins and uh, even Ethereum is known as an altcoin for that matter. And even as uh, we have seen the cryptocurrencies cross a market size of around $1 trillion and 65% of dominance still continues to be with Bitcoin. But many of these altcoins also now seem to be picking up and are doing greater business, better uh, variability. And while of course some of the features are overlapping, but they are widely separate from each other when it comes to a lot of features there. Uh, within this as well, there are three or four types of altcoins. There are stable coins, security tokens and utility tokens as well. Most of them though are still mine based. This is uh, the new coins that are generated by solving challenging problems to unblock the blocks and most of the top altcoins actually fall into this category. The other one is the stable coins. These are valued to existing currencies, traditional currencies like the US dollar, the euro or the gold for that matter. Facebook's Libra is the most famous example of a stable coin. The other one is Tether which was launched in 2014 and also seems to be doing a good business. Security tokens are linked to a business. They are usually launched in an initial coin offering or an ICO as is called in the cryptocurrencies language. They offer dividend and payout and ownership in a business as well. The other is the utility coin. Now this one provides claims on services, sometimes sold as a part of an ICO also. Uh, Filecoin is the most example, uh, important example of utility tokens. It is designed to be exchangeable for decentralized file and the storage space in utility tokens are also on the higher side. Let's get you the top 10 altcoins then and within this Namecoin is the first one. This also was launched first after Bitcoin. It is also limited to 21 million coins as is the case was with Bitcoin. So this basically just goes on the same line as Bitcoin. It was introduced in April 2011 and has done some decent business in the recent few years. The other one is Ether Ethereum. It was also launched in 2015. It is a decentralized software program. It enables smart contracts and allows to codify decentralization, secure and can trade just about anything. Litecoin is an altcoin that was launched in 2011. It is based on an open source global payment network. It is faster block generation, scalability uh, and faster rate uh, than Bitcoin is what really has had its interest caught. It offers faster transaction confirmations also and interestingly Litecoin was created in 2011 as transaction speed could be increased and that is exactly what it has been doing. Cardano is, uh, has been a famous one as well and it is known as an Ethereum killer by the way because its blockchain is expected to be capable of way more than what Ethereum can do right now. So uh, it is backed by a solid research and team and can also provide solutions for uh, interoperability, voter fraud, legal contracts, tracing and much more that it goes, goes on to Cardano. Another important aspect of Cardano is that it also has a couple of uh, people who worked on Ethereum earlier. So Cardano clearly is an improvisation on all of that. Polkadot is another one which is aimed at delivering interoperability. It's uh, between the various blockchains. So higher security, shared security, a lot of programs can be written on it. It also has seen a lot of, a lot of attraction in the recent few years. Bitcoin Cash came in, in 2017 and it is the earliest and the most successful of hard cash of the original Bitcoins. In cryptocurrencies, folks take place as a result of uh, debates and arguments between the developers, miners and uh, Bitcoin Cash actually happened after a debate on scalability. Remember Bitcoin does have its uh, limitations because of uh, 21 million coins is all that it will see but Bitcoin Cash uh, increases the block size from 1 megabyte to 8 megabyte. It can um, hold more blocks, more transactions, more data and therefore you have uh, Bitcoin Cash doing, doing quite well for itself. Stellar is the third more important one when it comes to cryptocurrencies. First is Bitcoin, second is Ethereum and the third is XRP or Stellar. It has the maximum 
trading interest also market capitalization is quite strong here and it is designed to provide enterprise enterprise solutions by connecting financial institutions for the purpose of larger transactions so uh, when you look at huge transactions between banks and institutions number of intermediaries are also there the time taken is more uh, in sense of confirmation the money spent also is higher but when you talk about stellar all of this really goes down there are no intermediaries time taken is less there is very little transaction cost that you have to pay and is the reason stellar has done well for itself Chainlink is a decentralized oracle. It allows smart contracts to communicate with outside the data so that the contracts can be executed based on data that Ethereum itself cannot connect to. So while of course it is a supportive uh, currency in that sense, but it also is known to do, to do quite a lot than what the existing currencies can do. So Chainlink clearly is an improvisation on that. Binance Coin also has uh, had a lot of news buzz around it. It is known as a utility cryptocurrency that operates as a payment method for the fees associated with trading on the Binance exchange also. So uh, it has a huge utilization, huge importance in that sense. Monero has been in news for a lot of right and the wrong reasons. Monero is known as the most secure, private and untraceable as a currency. It was launched in April 2014 and soon garnered a great interest among cryptography community and enthusiasts. This uh, currency is completely donation based and community driven. It, uh, it was launched on a, with a lot of focus on decentralization and scalability. And uh, while of course uh, people do believe that uh, people who trade with Monero want to be anonymous and is the reason it can be put into wrong hands and for wrong uses also. But Monero has been a currency which clearly has been in a lot of use as well. So these are the top 10 altcoins or cryptocurrencies that the markets are trading with a lot of enthusiasm. These cryptocurrencies have seen a three digit percentage gains in the last year and continue to run up in Jan 2021 also.